Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg. Today in this video, we're going to talk about several of the reasons why moving from the Midwest to Phoenix, Arizona is a great idea. I have personal experience in this area. Stay tuned. We're going to walk through that. All right, let's jump right into it. The top reasons why moving to Phoenix, Arizona from the Midwest is such a good idea. I did it over a year ago. I was thinking about it for a while, but there are some many, th many reasons why to move here. But one of the obvious things is the weather. If you look outside right now, the sun is shining bright in on my face. You can see the nice sunlight on the video. It's beautiful here. The weather is nine, 10 months out of the year, very beautiful. And then there's a couple months where it gets a little hot. But being from the Midwest, originally grew up, growing up there, we, if you're with me, you know how cold it is in the Midwest. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people move down here, a lot of people retire down here, because the weather is so beautiful. You can go out any point of the day, and then when it gets too hot, you just plan around that a little bit. I always tell friends, being from the Midwest, when there was blizzards moving in, they would shut the highways down. They would shut activities down, but really, since I've been here, nothing's really been postponed due to weather, even though it can get hot. It's beautiful, there's pools, there's golf courses, there's so many things to do, there's hikes so many things to do to take advantage of the beautiful weather. Moving right along, one of the other reasons that I, or one of the primary reasons that I moved down here was due to schools. Not necessarily schools and how you might think of it, K through eight or nine through 12 in the standard you know, public school system or charters. I'll, I'll touch on that briefly as well, but I moved for establishing residency in Arizona for my daughter on the nice break on tuition at ASU. She's a student at ASU and she's taking advantage of that now. And I had the opportunity to move. It made sense. I always joke that, yeah, someone twisted my arm to move to Phoenix to live in the beautiful sun. I just, I thought I'd take, you know, the, the family uh, burden of that and, and take it <laughs> and do that for my daughter. But it's a great uh, advantage on the tuition since out-of-state tuition is quite higher. But if we move into K through 12 and nine through, uh, or nine through 12 as well, grades in the school districts, Arizona's never been, not necessarily as far as I know, great known for schools. But there are a lot of great schools here. So I found a couple resources, niche.com. I'll list them below in the description here as well. And then I also just went out to this Arizona State Board of Education website. And they actually, you can sort the schools by a grade letter. So what I did is I went to, I first started out with, I just put the you know, grade letter A for the best. And then I also put a B in there as well to kind of see what kind of schools were coming up. And there was a couple different categories based on you know, the, the standard public school system. And there's also hybrid. And then there's an alternative one listed on, on a spreadsheet. I'll list the website on the description, like I said, but also another one is niche.com, where you can go out there and it lists all the different schools and you can click on view on map and it will show all those school districts on the map so you can get a, kind of get an idea on where they fall in the metro area. You can choose between schools and districts and you can really, I mean, that's something that you might want to play around with a little bit too, just to get a better understanding. But I found those two sites really helpful in my own research to see what are the best schools in the Phoenix area. Another great reason to move to Phoenix is the vast amount of entertainment and concerts and professional sports. We have the Suns, the Diamondbacks, the hockey team, which I'm not a hockey fan. And we have the Cardinals at the Super Bowl coming to town 2023, February something, first weekend in February, I believe. And then it's just a vast amount of happy hours and food and the area of Roosevelt Row, right down downtown area, every first Friday of the month, they shut the little area down. They put up all kinds of local, you know, a lot of little local businesses have booths and there's food and there's fun and music. Just endless possibilities on an amount of things to do and trying new things. And that's one of the reasons that I love it. Another great reason to move to Phoenix is the proximity to get out of Phoenix when you want a three day weekend or whatever it is, when it gets too hot for you. Sometimes that can be the case. If it gets too hot, if you just want to change your pace, I wanted to change your pace a couple weeks back, I went to Vegas. And that's one of the reasons that I thought of that was a big advantage moving here is that you can bounce to Vegas, LA, San Diego, Sedona, uh, Prescott. Um, you, know, you can go up outside of the heat into the mountains pretty fast, you can get the Grand Canyon. Uh, I think I mentioned Vegas already. I just went there recently. It was like a $40 flight round trip. 
so I, since I've been here, I've moved or dro driven to San Diego a couple times and also flown there. And there's both are great options. It's about a five hour drive. And Vegas is short enough drive. Grand Canyon, I mentioned those already, but it's just a lot of great options that are close by that if you want to get out, maybe for even for a day or two, you can drive or fly for a very reasonable amount of money. There are so many reasons to move to Phoenix, but in this video, I just want to cover a couple of the more positive ones from my experience. In future videos, I'll cover both sides more. I'll cover a lot more detail into the different cities and what are the better cities, what are the cities to avoid, that sort of thing. But one of the last things I want to touch in this video is the commute. I work at home and I also am on the road checking out different properties for real estate and I cover a lot of ground, but I have noticed just comparing to Minneapolis and where I move from in the Midwest is traffic can get kind of bad. I think the average commute is 26 minutes or something when I looked it up and that's pretty comparable to other larger markets. But one thing I did notice was and this could be a drawback, but it also is part of traffic is if you are going to work every day to an office and a lot of us have hybrid or whatever as well options. So that's always kind of nice too, which opens up more options for living and we're in the proximity but there are a lot of accidents. I'm not sure of the data, but almost every single time I go out on the road, it seems like there's some type of accident. So it's something to be aware of, something to be extra careful when you're driving and putting the phone and all that sort of thing away, like we're supposed to do anyway, and just drive and pay attention to the road. That wraps up today's video on moving to Phoenix from the Midwest. So many reasons. A lot of other things I'm going to get into in future videos, but make sure to subscribe and like, do all the stuff that you hear about all the time, and feel free to comment or send me a message, and I'd be more than happy to help you out on your journey to moving to Phoenix. You'll love it, trust me.